Everybody knows I'm a big DirecTV fan. I've been a customer for almost 20 years and I love the products, I love the service, and I love talking about it. But one thing I've never really understood is why DirecTV DVRs don't have an undelete or trash can function. Other Linux-based DVRs do, and DirecTV DVRs are based on Linux. Every Linux distribution for computers has it too. So it can't be that hard to do. But I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, I don't think they're gonna add this function anytime soon either. I think DirecTV is moving more toward a cloud-based system so that if you lose something that you just kind of re-record it and it just sits out there in the cloud, that's fine. But what about now? You know, DirecTV does give you an are you sure when you go to delete, we're also comfortable with the remote. Your fingers probably say yes to are you sure before you even think about it. And that can cause some problems at home, especially if you delete the wrong thing. Well, there isn't really an undelete function, but there is the next best thing. I'm gonna show you the secret way that you can go into your DirecTV DVR's settings, find out what it is that you've deleted, and then pull it back down. This is very much like having an undelete function, and it works most of the time, almost all the time as a matter of fact. Let's take a look. Start by watching live TV and pressing the list button. Arrow up until it says recording manager and press select. Arrow down until you get to recording history, press select. Here you'll see a log of everything you've recorded, everything you've deleted. Just find the thing that you deleted by mistake, press select. Go down to other showings and you'll see when this can be watched again, when it can be recorded again. All you have to do is choose a recording time and then press the record button. It'll record again. Now, if you see the option to watch now, that means it's available on demand. If you really want to watch it now, great. Remember, if you choose the on-demand version, you won't be able to skip through commercials. So if you can just re-record it off satellite, that's better. When you're done, press exit to go back to live TV. So look, DirecTV DVRs, as I said, are not likely to have this function. But using this technique, you can get pretty much everything that's available on national channels that showed up in the last three days you can get broadcast network shows, and I've even had cases where stuff's been available six to eight weeks after I recorded it initially. I don't use this function a lot, but when I do, it saves me a lot of heartache. Meantime, if you do want to upgrade your DirecTV system, I hope you'll give Solid Signal a call. You know, these are the folks who sponsor videos like this, and they do a really great job of customer service. They don't have overseas call centers or script readers. They've just got dedicated, honest folks in our Detroit area call center who get things done. Like I said, the number is 888-233-7563 or shop at solidsignal.com.